Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Philosophical, and these are the reasons why men are getting married today. Uh, rule number one, past environment, whether that may be parents, um, previously to maybe those parents being divorced, influences, or maybe growth growing up. Uh, we call it systemic growth as far as um, nowadays you've got same-sex marriages, you've got um, parent, men and women divorcing a lot quicker, younger ages. So that plays a big part in, in the past environment, how a man and a woman, have, um, well, men, have grown up. Uh, number two, commitment issues due to past relationships and just not being ready. Um, sometimes that first relationship uh, can really hurt a person, whether how that ended on really bad terms or whether you're still friends, there's still memories, there's still experiences that are still lingering. Uh, as far as with, with men. Uh, reason number three, financial issues. Uh, sometimes we as men, we look at things as far as from a financial standpoint, because we look as we look as men being providers as as men. We've been growing up to provide for our family, provide for potential children, whatever number of children. And sometimes we as men can get a little selfish when it comes to those reasons. Uh, number four. Fear of divorce, the fear of circumstances, and just being scared. A lot of times the fear of divorce, the consequences that comes with divorce, uh, there's a lot of prenup discussions talked about um, as far as how successful you can be. Uh, we start to think as far as like, hey, when divorce comes, you're not signing a prenup, you got to give up half, the 50%. Uh, look at Dr. Dre, uh, perfect example. He did it to uh, himself, but uh, you know. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, number five. Uh, fear of lifelong commitment to one person. This goes back to also not being ready. And as a man, as a man, sometimes we're still trying to find ourselves. Um, and that could be tough. Um, so I'll just go back and say it again. The five reasons why men are getting married past environment, whether it may be parents, divorce, um, influence or systemic growth. Uh, number two, commitment issues due to past relationships, um, not being ready. Number three, financial issues, whether that may be an agenda. Um, a lot of times the financial, the providing complex of a man uh, could be tough. Number four, the fear of divorce, circumstances of just being scared. And number five, the fear of lifelong commitment to one person. Again, not being ready or as men still trying to find ourselves. So. Tag me in, coach. What's up? <laughs> So, uh, all righty, this is, this is your boy, Jay Echo. What's good, everybody? So I'm just going to, I'm just going to try and rapid fire respond to, uh, to what, uh, what Phil said, you know, I'm not, uh, yeah, here we go. So number one, uh, what, what, uh, not, uh, how you grew, how you grew up your background. That's, that's real. I won't, I won't disagree on any of those points, you know, how you grew up, what the relationship your parents have, or a significant parental figure have, that's uh, that's going to affect how you uh, how you navigate your relationships moving forward. Uh, number two, um, what was number two? Commitment issues. Commitment issues. <laughs> Commitment issues. Uh, dudes, just we. At, at a certain point, you just got to be real with yourself and decide, look, am I really trying to get married or am I not? And stop, stop, stop lying to people about what you actually want. That's it. If you want to commit to somebody, cool, bet. If you just want to, if you just want a, 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 a friend with benefits, let them know, cool, bet. If you want to, what's it called? If you're looking for something long term, let them know. That's all it is. If you're not there to commit, just be upfront about it. There are plenty of folks out here who are willing to just play around. Yep. Save, save everybody some time. It's not that big a deal. Uh, yep. Number three, um, growing up, uh, we've spent how many episodes? What, what episode we on, Phil? 31. 31? Okay. We yep. spent 31 episodes telling brothers and sisters we got to do better yep. so i mean if uh if you know in your heart that you are not in a place to get married then don't get married don't don't right. play games don't sugarcoat yeah. it like look i ain't 
And like I said, save everybody else some time. Yep. Number four, um, the uh, fear of divorce. Fear of divorce. I mean, let's be real about it. If if in today's America, marriage is a business decision. It is. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure, sure, like your 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 heart get in, gets involved, but in most business decisions, there's some level of emotion attached. You have to like at a certain point. You have to take take a step back. Both of y'all have to take a step back and be like, look, realistically speaking, this is what my earning potential is. This is what my goals are. This is where I plan to go. And also, realistically speaking, this may not work out. Mm -hmm. Do we want, let's say, even if it's a woman like Mary J. Blige got quote unquote done dirty by 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 the court if uh if if you know good and well you're gonna be worth uh seven million dollars over the rest of your life and your partner is gonna be worth a cool fifty thousand you might need to take some steps to protect your assets that's not being cruel or a bad partner that's just being It's not even being self-interested. It's just being smart. So take care of yourself. Handle your business. Handle your money. True. And last, systemic change, systemic growth, whatever you want to call it. The world is going to keep changing. Relationship dynamics are going to change and and all of that sort of stuff. If you're not willing to grow with it, then, I mean, join them incel folks over there. Be (laughs) cool. It is what it is. I can't you know. wait to hear your thoughts on on incel. I know you've been talking about that a couple of times. I'm um, entirely <laughs> celibate for those who don't know. You know. <laughs> all right, seals. Yeah, man, uh, I agree with all those points. And, you know, in a, in a certain way, all of your points are related to each other. Yeah, like they're mm-hmm. they're not separate entities of each other. This is these are the mistakes that men you know make and men go through. You know, and uh, mm-hmm. on my channel, mm-hmm. this is what I talk about. I talk about not necessarily the, the, the physical things that us men do or go through or, you know, execute. I talk about uh, understanding the mental, the inside, the wiring of why, mm, you know, point. we go through the good things point. we do. Cause I feel like that's what matters the most, you know? Mm-hmm. So when it comes to your question, uh, brother, like I feel like most men don't understand the importance of marriage. They don't understand what marriage means to a man. You know, so there's a difference between how a young man thinks about marriage and how a man, how a a mature man thinks about marriage. Right. Yeah. Grown folk. You know what I'm saying? You know, so a young man like I I mentor both young men and even older men. Mm -hmm. When I ask about, you know, marriage to young men, they're like, oh, you know, it's it's to wife her, you know, wife her up, cuff her up, you know, Mm -hmm. so no other man Mm -hmm. gets her. Yep. You know, yep. so I can have yep. her forever, like in my possession type thing. Right. Mm-hmm. That's immature thinking because, you know, a woman is not your possession, you know, right. and I always preach about, you know, make your woman your partner, mm-hmm. you know. So if you don't see the woman you're involved with being your partner, then that's a big reason why most men don't get married because they, they they don't even understand how marriage works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, in, in, in comparison to what a man thinks, a man wants to get married to build something, to to, mm-hmm. to build love, to build a relationship, to build an empire. You know, um, they're trying to produce. Like, that's what men do. Like, we were mm-hmm. made to produce. We were made to lay seeds, you know? Yeah. So if we don't have that 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 mentality behind marriage to produce, to, to create, then it's not going to happen, you know? Yeah. So that's why, and, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with men feeling like that, you know? Because some men, like you said, they need to find themselves. They need to figure out things. You know, Mm -hmm. some men figure out how to be a man later in the years, you know, Mm -hmm. and some men figure out early in the years based on one of your points, how you were raised, Mm -hmm. you know, what what you've been through. So I I, and that's that's the one thing I want to say. I want nobody to get mad at me. But men, I mean, women tend to think in one way when it comes to what what time frame a man should know how to be a man. So you'll see a lot of women say like, Oh, you're 30 years old. You should know how to be a man. You should, you should, mm. you should know these things. You should know what men want. You should know what men mm-hmm. do. That's mm-hmm. not true. It's mm-hmm. not true because nope. there's a lot of men who become men at early ages, and then you have 
men who learn things at later ages based on the experiences they go through. So exactly. It, yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stop, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's a very complicated, complex situation. Yeah. 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 Um, so based, based off of those points, those are the reasons why men do not get married today. Um, this is philosophical. I'm out. This is Peace. Boy J Echo. Sills and man. Peace. We'll holler at you. <laughs>